Hello there folks, Andrew Griffiths here, Mayor of Smallville uh, and co-founder of Smallville. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying our site as much as we're enjoying bringing it to you. Now, my uh, video blog today, or my vlog, I want to talk to you, I want to give you nine ways to, uh, to manage people chasing you for money. Now, listen, first thing I've got to say is we all have tough times in business, okay? And I actually say there's two kinds of business. The first is the type of business that's had financial problems. The second is the type of, is the type of business that's going to have financial problems. We all have cash flow crunches. We all have slow paying clients. We all have issues that we've got to deal with. So uh, I don't want you to be feeling like a failure or any of that kind of stuff. It's just, it's a normal part of business. I have certainly had some crazy tough times in business. You know, and, and the, you know, I've had major clients go bust. I've had, you know, phone call, every phone call was someone chasing money. And uh, what most of us do though, is we put our head in the sand. We go, oh, I'll ignore it, it'll go away. It does not go away. It gets worse and people get more and more frustrated if you don't talk to them. So how do you handle it? Okay, so nine little steps that I'm gonna give you. This is what I've used, they've worked for me. Um, and the first one is accept responsibility. Now, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to say, listen, it's your business, you owe the money, you gotta step up. Don't put it in some bucket over there, well, that's someone else's problems. Well, because he's not paying me, well, that's his problem. It, it's, you owe the debt, it's your money, you gotta step up. And, and I'm a firm believer that we've gotta take responsibility in our business. And I've, I've certainly been in the denial mode, don't you worry about that. But when I stood up and started to take responsibility for my business, Everything kind of changed again, you know, because I, I got serious. I grew up and became a little bit more mature about how I handled it. Okay, the second thing is communicate, okay? Explain, return the phone calls, return the letters, make the calls. I know they're embarrassing, but you explain what's gone wrong. Look, I've got a client, they're slow paying, someone's gone broke, business is really quiet, whatever it is, explain to them what's going on. People are far more understanding if you tell them what's going on. If you ignore them, they'll get angry because they don't know, they assume you're gonna do a runner or something's gone on like that. So number three then is to tell them what you're doing about it. Okay, that's the key. Let them know that you're doing something about it. Let them know that, well, this is the action we're taking. These are the steps we're taking, you know, etc. That's what we're trying to achieve, okay? Number four, agree to a payment plan. And even if you're paying $100 a week, it's only a small chunk, but agree to something. But don't get bullied into making a payment plan that you cannot stick to. And this can often happen, you know, they go, well, we want you to pay $2,000 a week. And because you're already on the back foot, you're telling them, oh, okay, I'll do it. Knowing full well that as you agree to it, you can't possibly meet it. And that's just silly, okay? And that's just, a, all that does is lead to more grief down the line. They get more frustrated because you break a payment plan, you feel guilty waiting knowing the impending doom is on its way, okay? So make a payment plan and honor that um, payment plan is what I would say. Um, number uh, six here is um, if you can uh, pay it earlier, I think that's always nice. I had a guy that owed me $10,000, it's on a $100 a week payment plan. About eight weeks in, he you know, sent me the check and said, oh, look, some things have changed. I got this money, I just wanted to pay you in full. It's really, really nice. You know, so if you can pay it out early, look, absolutely, it's great. But as, even if you can't, as long as you honor that, everyone's gonna be happy, okay? Well, they might not be happy, but they will be less unhappy. Number seven, keep buying from a supplier if you can. Like they might want you to pay cash, I'm sure they probably will, but better to pay them cash, seeing they're supporting you, than to buy the same thing from someone else because you know there's that awkwardness. And I'd be pretty upset if I found out someone's going somewhere else and paying cash when they could have bought the same thing from me, paid me cash and still kept on their payment plan. Um, so that. Number eight, keep communicating, even if you've got nothing to say. I mean, that's an important one, just touching base. Hey, this is what's happening, this is how I'm going. You know, things are getting a bit better or things are getting a bit worse, but you, you, know, you keep talking to them and let them know what's going on. And then number nine, the big one, is don't forget who helped you through a tough time. Whether it be a supplier, whether it be a client that's giving you, paid you up front for a job, whether it's been an advisor, whatever it is, always remember the people that help you in the tough times. I've got a list of people because I will do anything to help them. And there have certainly been times in my little world where if it wasn't for that kind of relationship and doing those things that I just listed out to you, um, there's no way my business would have survived. Absolutely no way knowing it. Couldn't have because uh, they could, any of them could have wound me up at any one time, okay? So to summarize those again, number one, accept responsibility. Number two, communicate. Tell them what's going on. Number three, tell them what you're doing about it. Number four, agree to a payment plan. Number five, honor the payment plan. Number six, pay it out early if you can. Number seven, keep buying and supporting them if you can, you know, pay cash, whatever it is. Number eight, 
keep communicating, even if there's nothing to say, just communicate to, you know, touch base. And number nine, never forget who helped you through your tough times. Um, okay, and, and you might even be in a position to help someone else somewhere down the line. So just remember, it's very, very easy for the shoe to be on the other foot. So uh, that's nine ways to manage people chasing you for money. Um, thanks once again for tuning in to Smallville. Uh, hope you love it as much as we do. All right, Andrew Griffiths, over and out. Thank you.